Good morning, my name's Ricky Brown. I've been a beekeeper for 40 years on and off in different parts of the world. And here in Escalante we have, on my arrival, only one small hive left from a previous beekeeper. And we've increased the hive numbers now to six. Still a very small operation. And we are only using bees for fertilizing of the orchards and the vegetable gardens with the possible makeup of comb honey production for just family use. On this level any person can keep a couple of hives just to help the, the global bee population which is crashing. Well comb honey has a, it's it's easier for a small holder or for a family garden to have beekeeping. So there's no extraction needed, no heavy equipment, no storage. And also many of us believe that comb honey, as you're actually eating some comb and some propolis, maybe even a little pollen, that it really helps with people with allergies. And because it's local, from the plants that are affecting you, there's some belief that there's a homeopathic connection. It's very easy to buy a nucleus online or locally, especially in southern Utah. And the bees pretty much look after themselves. It doesn't take too much to be involved. It will land. There, orange pollen on its legs. Nick, why do you raise bees? Well, we do it for the honey. Well, the bees used to be right down here. Uh, but I found that uh, I would get stung as I walked by, so that's what, uh, see there's a bee on my hair right now. <laughs> and if you're very observant, you can tell what color pollen is coming off of which flower. And that becomes, you can make notes to that effect, and it becomes an interesting hobby. I want to thank you very much for participating, Mr. Brown. You're welcome.